recently moved in August and now it's January so um, you know all of the storage uh, sales are finally on sale going on I just said sales were on sale <laughs> anyway I wanted to show you the new system that we just got and some of the other storage solutions that we already use um, in his room. He's over here playing cards if you can hear him. Now some people say that they don't like having actual toy boxes, only organizational bins um, to organize things. I'm going to be real with you. My son just turned three years old. We both have busy, busy lives, my husband and I. We're about to have another baby. I'm having the worst case of hyperemesis gravidarium, which is extreme learning sickness. And Listen, if they're picked up off the floor, I don't give a crap. Some days, if they're on the floor, that's fine too, whatever. But anyway, I'm in love with this tote. We got it from Target, and I guess it's not really a, a tote. It's more like a, I don't know, it, it was in the toy box section at Target. I want to say it was like seven bucks. And I love this, especially for bigger toys like this. Obviously, it's not full right now because my son is playing in his room as we're recording right now. Um, but for bigger toys like this toy, it's easier to just shove them in there and then put some smaller toys around it. Um, cause, yeah. Now there are some toys that my son has to have. <laughs> You're so silly. There are some toys that my son, um, really wants organized, like his cars. I'll show you that in a second. But, um, yeah. I mean, as long as it's, like, picked up, if someone's coming over, shove it all in here and it doesn't all have to be organized. I just, I love this bin. I love to have a few of these bins. We actually used to use totes, like actual legit totes, and now we use those like for, for other storage and stuff, and we went and got this. And it's like the same price as a tote. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this, and I think it was like $7 at Target. Yeah. Believe it or not, this is where we store our, some of my son's Hot Wheels cars. He may or may not have a few, and for some reason, he insists on storing it in the shopping cart. We call it a buggy actually where I'm from, but no one around here where we live now, no one seems to know what a buggy is. But in the shopping cart is where he insists on keeping all of his cars. At least they're organized, I guess, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, like little things that are toys that have baskets, I guess he has a wagon he uses. But um, yeah, this is where the cars have to go when my three year old has a meltdown. So we also have these bins and these bins are only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And they're super sturdy and I love them. And I'm sure you've seen them at the Dollar Tree. I have these everywhere. I have them in blue in my kitchen. And I love the square ones because they fit books and everything so nicely. But anyway, even though he has a whole tote system and he has um, different toy boxes, we use these for things that we wouldn't necessarily want him to play with all the time. Like this is his learning bin. Like these are puzzles. Um, these are his flashcards. These are things that if we do not monitor, they will end up everywhere. They have ended up everywhere. I've had to clean these from every nook and cranny of the house. But anyway, these are like the learning things. So like once or twice a day, we, we get in here and we do some learning things. Do some puzzles, do some flashcards, do some writing, drawing, you know, different things like that. And then I just stick it in here. And then these fit in the top of this closet. They fit in the spare bedroom in the office. And that way I'm able to put them up and then he's not able to get into them. And these are awesome and they fit perfectly in the top of a closet. And um, yes, they even stack actually. We also have buckets like this and we stick things in here like Play-Doh. Play-Doh gets everywhere, all on the carpet. So we used to just let him play with Play-Doh whenever and we have a new one on the way and we're trying not to ruin our new carpet. So we try to put Play-Doh up and play with it once or twice a day. So it's you know, monitored. But so whenever we're done, we stick all of our Play-Doh things in a couple of these bins. He loves Play-Doh. Yes, we have a couple of these. But these come in all different colors with Dollar Store. They're a little more pliable, but they're, um, they stay together and hold up pretty well. Um, yeah, and then we just stick these either in the spare bedroom, the office, or um, in the top of the closet. So um, we can just access this whenever we want to, and we know where everything is as far as Play-Doh, and it's all together to make whatever he wants to make. Um, and then whenever we're around, uh, like, to, like watching him in the room um, and not like trying to do dishes or anything like that, he can't just get everything out and uh, mush it in the carpet, which he's doing right now. He's actually playing with the Play-Doh while I'm standing here, uh, which is why this is magically empty. But anyway, yeah, dollar at the dollar store. You cannot beat that. So anyways, the new thing we just got is right behind me, and this is the tub storage solution thing, and we're hoping that this will help him keep things organized. Um, 
We obviously have not put things in it yet, but I'm hoping that this can help organize like, um, you know, Hot Wheels and Mega Blocks and whatever else. The picture on the box actually showed um, to put these bins in a little bit differently than how we did it. Um, it showed to put a larger bin on each level, but for me it made sense to put um, all four of the larger bins on these lower levels because my son just turned three and I feel like when these are full of toys, they're gonna be heavier to get out and put back in. So the top two levels only have, um, yep, only have the smaller bin. I'm hoping this might make it easier for him um, to pick up and I'm hoping it'll make it easier to organize. I'm hoping to put his books right above this solely because I wanna put the books that I don't want ruined up here and then maybe like the uh, cardboard books and stuff can be stored like right here. Good job, sweetie. Good job. We're getting the hang of it. So that's that's my plan, and I'll show you guys my this awesome. Is blue. It is blue. Good job. What color is this one? Purple. Purple. What color is this one? Orange. Orange. Good job. But I'll show you my awesome idea for the bookshelves, which is even cheaper than the IKEA hack in a second. But anyway, I wanted to show you what I got. This one is uh, from Toys R Us, and it's normally $60, which is cheaper than some of the smaller ones that look exactly the same that I've seen. Um, but I did get a $10 off coupon. So if you're gonna get this from Toys R Us, I recommend waiting until you get a coupon for it. So I ended up paying only 50 bucks for it, which is a little bit more expensive than I was kind of planning for um, the toy box. But I really, really wanted to get him one of these, and I have high hopes for it. And I know it's not gonna fall apart, so I'm hoping that this is worth the money that we spent on it. <laughs> so another project that we're going to start for storage are these awesome crates. And these are way cheaper than we thought they were going to be at the craft store. They sell at Michael's, Joann's, I think Hobby Lobby, 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 yep, Hobby Lobby had them if they were more expensive. But these were at Joann's and they were super kind of cheap. And then you can use your, yeah, my son wanted to stack them. You can use your 40% off or 50% off coupon for them. And they have those every single week. But we got this one at Michael's. I used a 50% off coupon. Oh, okay. It was normally $5. We paid $2.50 for it. The larger one, which is a little bit larger. Can you, let, me, let mommy see these. He doesn't want to is a little bit larger. We ended up paying, I think, $5 for the larger one. But anyway, I have a video on um, why we originally got these, and they are for the bathroom. And as soon as the bathroom is done, I will definitely um, post a video to that in the link below also. So we bought these for shelves in the bathroom. And then I got to thinking, have you seen the Ike uh, Ikea spice rack book, like book holder pin on Pinterest, where they take the spice rack and they hang it up on the wall and then you can put the books in it. Well, that is $4 at Ikea. This is $2.50 with your coupon and it actually will hold more books. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I think we're gonna paint these like a green, maybe a yellow, maybe an orange, and then um, hang a couple of these up here and then I'll show you guys um, that project, of course, also. I almost bought one of these with the canvas bins and I didn't, and there's a reason why, and I will show you. It's because of this toy box right here. Now we have had this toy box for about a year and a half, and it is the same canvas material that you would get um, that if you bought the, the bins with the canvas. And it's cars, and my son loves it, and we still use it, don't get me wrong, but if you could tell, you could see it's already bowing out because it's just like a cardboard in there. I think this one was only $15 from Kmart, which isn't a bad price, but if it's gonna fall apart or you know do anything like this, I mean, you're gonna have to end up buying something new anyway. And what happened this week, which made me so, so frustrated, is the side totally caved out. So I don't know if I can use some hot glue and some stitches to fix this, but I'm hoping so. If not, it's going to be leaving as well. But anyway, um, I mean, it's a really super cute toy box. I like that it has a lid, um, but yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? The other torch, storage, the other storage solution we have for toys is actually an antique toy box, and we keep it in the living room because it kind of matches and that's just to keep like some little uh, toys in the living room we'd like to keep it mostly 
um, in this in the bed in the yep in the bedroom. But anyway, um, that's it for our solutions. If you guys know any other awesome deals, or if you know any deals for storage that are coming up that I can go get, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you like this video. I hope it helps you out. If you know any videos like this or anything, please let me know because I'm always loving watching storage videos. But thank you guys seriously so much for watching. Subscribe for DIYs and mommy stuff and baby stuff. And you can see my kids and you can see my belly growing. We are due so soon and I'm so excited. Actually, we're like more than halfway through. It feels like soon, but it's kind of dragging. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know if you're finding awesome storage solutions. And yeah. Bye, y'all. Love you.